<laughs> Wait. <laughs> Hi, my name is Logan. Welcome to my channel. While we're all isolating, I was going through some memories on my phone because I'm bored and I do nothing except play Animal Crossing. And I was like, you know, maybe I could start making some videos during this time in which we should not be doing anything. That way I kind of feel a little bit more productive. I thought, why not start it off with my trip to Ireland? I feel like I need to disclose this immediately that this trip happened in January at the beginning of 2020. It is now April. I did not take this trip during everything going on with COVID-19. I did not travel during this period of time. I went to Ireland with my best friend and her family to celebrate me graduating from college because I graduated in December of 2019. When we went to Ireland. We went to Dublin, Galway, and Malahide. Starting off with day one, we flew out of Minnesota on January 5th at 6.45 p.m. and then we landed in Dublin January 6th at 8.25 a.m. The trip started off with a bang of being interesting and one, f one for the books. We sat down at a bar inside the airport and we ate food. Like We started having like a friendly conversation with a guy that was like sitting next to us. He seemed nice and innocent, like nothing seemed bad by it. But then we're waiting at a game and we just keep seeing him walking by. And he kept telling us about his trip that he's going on and it wasn't international. And every flight in like our little region of the airport was all international. We started getting like a little suspicious. And then as we're boarding our plane, we notice him get in line behind us and we're like, what? And then he tried to get on the plane without having a boarding pass for the plane or his passport with him. And we all were kind of like low-key scared for our life for like half a second because like it was kind of weird and scary, but all was fine. He didn't get on the plane. We were all good. It was just a weird beginning start to the airport. We actually woke up at like 4 a.m. Minnesota time because we were like, oh, let's like start. And then we're like tired on the flight. So we like sleep overnight and then we wake up in Ireland and that turned out to be the worst decision ever. Don't recommend. Hi. First day we went to Guinness. My friend and I got our picture on a beer. They also have like a sky bar, all glass all around, and you just saw the city of Dublin. And that was really cool. Before we went to Guinness, we went to a pub. I'm sorry, it'd be my first time to try like a harder coffee, you know? I included some pictures of my reaction to it. Are you gonna say hi? You always say hi. 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 <laughs> Hi. Most of the day we kind of just like walked around. It's like wanted to kind of just see the city and just like casually come across things. Hi. Hi. <laughs> hi. Hi. Well, it was a lot of walking this day. I was honestly annoyed by it because my feet hurt. Uh, we did the Jameson tour this day and that was really cool. Uh, Jameson's a brand of whiskey in case you didn't know. Hi. And so we got to like taste the difference between different kinds of whiskey. Hi. While we were at the Jameson Brewery, you could become like an official uh, Jameson like brand ambassador. You don't really get anything from it. You just kind of get a cool certificate. It's fun to do. And it's just kind of cool to be like, I'm an official Jameson. Like, you know, you can just be bougie and be like, I am official. Hi. travel to Galway and the first day we kind of just walked around the city we didn't really do much because the only thing we wanted to do in Galway was go to the cliffs and more we did that the second day that we were in Galway we really just kind of like walked around uh Galway and we went to the museums that they had around there we shopped around there the bar at the in our hotel that we went to we became friends with one of the bartenders I actually follow him on Instagram <laughs> And he follows us back. And the bartender um, introduced this drink to me called TK Red Lemonade. And it is absolutely impossible to get in the United States. I cannot even get it shipped here from there. I'm so upset about it because this thing was so good. Later on the trip, my friend's mom got me like a giant like two liter of it. And I drank it by the time that we left. All of it. It was great. Hi. 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 Our second day in Galway or day four of the trip, 
we went to the cliffs of more and this was the first time that i had actually felt like motion sick i don't get motion sick easily but the bus ride to get it was like an hour and a half two hour bus ride i believe and that bus ride was absolutely terrible tour guide for the uh cliff store was absolutely amazing but the bus drive itself I just have a bunch of me pictures of me doing thumbs up. I just put them all together. I'll, I'll just Sorry. Sorry. Are you going to say hi? Hi! Uh, the cliffs are beautiful. The cliffs have a lot of steps and a lot of stairs. So if you don't like walking, then like not a thing I'd recommend because you're walking a lot. Hi! You doing good? No. I think it's just the fact that it's a bunch of stairs is what makes it bad. Day five and six, I'm gonna talk about these kind of together. These are really chill days that we had and Malahide has these beautiful beaches and castles in there that we wanted to go visit. We also visited an actual castle, had a tour of a castle and it was a lot smaller than I was expecting but it was still like super, super cool. The buildings in Ireland were so beautiful so like even just like walking down a neighborhood, I was just like amazed because it was all super, super pretty. And then the last day we flew home before we left we took another walk around the beach because we thought that that would be really cool we wanted to see the sunrise so we did wake up early for that and it was really beautiful did enjoy it I'm saying hi or goodbye whichever one hi we left dublin at like two o'clock and then we landed in minnesota at four so like that was really freaky <laughs> This is so fine. Attention, please. <laughs> Attention, please. We are responding to an alarm activation. Please evacuate this area immediately. Goodbye. I want to close up this video kind of like talking about things that I learned and how I would like do the trip differently if I were to go again. I definitely would want to go over the summer because it was very very cold and rainy which we expected so like we weren't surprised we weren't mad about it like we knew it was going to be that way when we went uh time change was weird we were there for a week and i really don't think i ever got switched to their time zone and that really messed with me everyone there was super nice and like online like if you research it you hear like a lot of bad things about pocketers and like all this other stuff which i'm sure does happen and like is a thing but we were just lucky enough that we didn't have to experience it and like everyone that we interacted with was super helpful so that was all for my video of reminiscing i guess i will say on my trip to ireland would do again 100 recommend going once everything is like lifted and we're able to travel the world again if you made it this far in the video comment down below your dream vacation spot because i really want to know and i want to learn new places to like potentially go that's it that's ireland was fun i recommend going over there <laughs>